friends, it's your girl Ashley. Today's video, I literally just woke up and I had the idea to film this. It's not even like 7 in the morning. Like, I, it's like 6, probably 6.15 or something like that. But somebody needs to hear this video. So, we're going to dive in. Super exciting news. When you see this video, um, my wedding is actually August 29th. We had to move it up a day. I, had, I hardly talked about it on this channel. And we're going to get into that. But the official date that Carrie and I set is August 30th. But we're going to be heading to the courthouse on August 29th. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, society and how um, when you get married, it has to be this huge um, selfish celebration of yourself. And also, you're just trying to please everybody into believing you so really i don't know i don't want to get ahead of myself but i want you guys if you know think about tana montague and i don't even know like i've been watching all those controversy videos and whatnot but she seems like she was more into the the wedding than jake paul was and so um but they were kind of doing it for clout kind of doing it just so people could be like whoa let's give them views because like they were looking for views and whatever and trying to put this whole big celebration and now there's all this drama happening afterwards and how they're talking about they may be divorced and whatever and i just don't want um you guys to feel like you have to put this huge celebration together so then people will like you and people will be happy for you we're literally going to the courthouse and I've been telling my friends and my family, hey, I'm going to be getting married and we're going to do the courthouse thing. And they're like, well, do you have your dress picked out? What, what's the after party looking like? What are your vows looking like? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, guys, if you're new to this channel, Carrie and I have literally been together for four years, like over four years. I'm 22 and I think I'm, I met him when we were 17. So we went to prom, we got our first apartment together, now we're on our second apartment, but we've done so much and um, that's how every day should be lived. Carrie always reminds me that every day is a blessing. Last month in July was his birthday and I'm like, what do you want for your birthday? Do you want to do anything? And he's just like, it, Ashley, it's just a blessing to be here today just like any other day. And that's how you should treat every single day as a blessing, as a gift that you are here, that you are able-bodied and you can do all these things just like any other day. And so why does one day have to be more special than the other? You should treat every single day as a um, celebration. You know what I mean? And so, um, and also I've been, I want to start this new series. Um, this video is going to go up before it, but I'm, getting my life together guys and i need to go back to my minimal my minimalism so if you've been following me for the past years i actually filmed a video about being a minimalist and like decluttering my closet was one of the videos if i find it i'll leave a little eye up here but i'm coming back to my roots and what i believe to be my true essence is to be a minimalist and not give in to the hype of you have to buy the latest and greatest things and what has really kind of been on my mind is oh i need to buy a wedding dress i have to look nice for this day and it's just i'm already here with carrie and we love each other so unconditionally so why does it matter and I've literally heard two sides of the stories, guys. I've had friends that have had huge wedding celebrations and it went great, but then um, when they think about it, it's like, oh, it was stressful. My dress didn't fit. Um, the food wasn't here on time. The whatever, the, the ring bear was taking a nap. Like just so many things that you have to think about on your special day and I don't want to say it takes away from it being special, but it makes you stressed. And why would you want to add more stress to your life? Um, so there's good and bad to having huge celebrations. We're, um, before I get ahead of myself, the other spectrum, which Carrie and I are kind of going this year around, is the courthouse celebration. So we'll have, you know, friends and family. I said, I literally made a Facebook page or post. If you want to come, it's this day, this time, show up whatever be come as you are literally said in the post 
and you know I'll get some people that come and it's literally not stressful at all free guest list um, the celebration is only gonna cost us a hundred dollars and then we'll just do whatever afterwards and it takes all the stress out of it I was actually talking with one of my um, clients at the gym and she was like I had a court celebration we just um, dressed you know in some nice just black and then we literally went to Burger King afterwards me my new husband and his mom went, like what what is wrong with that why is society saying you need to do it bigger you need to do it better so you don't feel like a loser you know what I mean I don't want you guys to feel like you have to have everything and just just putting that extra stress on yourself is not healthy and especially when this world is so overly stimulated and you're like what's the next thing I need to be attached to what is this next item I need to purchase and remember in yoga I think I said this maybe in my last video or the video before it, but a parigraha is practicing non-attachments. When you're on this world, you have to be okay with letting things go. Things come into our life and things leave our life. And we have to be accepting of that because whatever your higher source is, I believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in God and the universe. God is in everything. He will bless you with tenfold something way better if you believe that you lost something and if you haven't seen that video i had i made a post about my puppy passing and i'm grateful for all the memories and all the years that i got to spend with her and i never treated one day better than the other like just cherish what you have in your life and so i'm making this video um just for everybody to understand that you don't need to have these huge celebrations to impress your friends and your family. They became your friends and your family before you even met the guy or even before you met the girl or whatever. Like these people should love you unconditionally as you are. And if they don't, that's not your friend. That's not your family. That's not blood. Get over it, you know? Like there's so many other people in the world and you stressing about this one person. Is she gonna like it if I have the diamond cups or the ruby cups I, I don't even i don't know about that but anyway so you, when you see this video it may be before our wedding but it may be after and i'll officially be a miss tuck i'm gonna be ashley tuck so that's really cool and i don't know it's just it's gonna be really cool um we're thinking of driving down to chicago for a few days or maybe just for a day or whatever and doing like some shopping but like kind of intentional shopping like not just buying stuff because like I said guys I'm really trying to find my roots and get back to being a minimalist and really caring about what I buy the plastic in it and where it's gonna go in my house don't just buy stuff and clothes and then never wear it or never have a spot to you know have it be its home in your home where it's gonna always sit you know what I mean? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope it gave you um, some inspiration or just a different view of how to view um, weddings and this whole ceremony thing. So we're doing the courthouse this year and no big deal. It's going to be a celebration in our own for the two of us, you know? So who cares if people are there or people weren't or if pictures were taken, if pictures weren't. We still have those memories and we, we still have this unconditional love and this unconditional bind um to each other that just links us you know we're two individual spirits but we're you know becoming one essentially what marriage is but i did want to say um maybe next year we may have just a little get together we're not gonna go out out and spend thousands of dollars um you can still have parties guys i don't want to say you can't have parties you can still have parties so eventually like when we get settled we're still manifesting a new home for next year and we'll do something there and i'm, I'm sure we'll film it so you guys can tag along with us but if you like this video give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel and i'm posting way more frequently and it feels so freaking good to just share my life my experience my knowledge and whatever god is allowing to flow through me into this camera and to meet you so i will see you guys in my next video peace